All right, this video is going to show you how to do a regression analysis. Um, <clears throat> here. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is increase uh, your columns here, double clicking, add the uh, separation between the columns. And so uh, I'm going to select this data. create a scatter plot by inserting scatter here. Great. Now, <clears throat> what we're saying here is that there's a relationship between temperature and the ice cream sales in the particular weeks. So uh, it looks like there is some kind of relationship and we're going to need to test that. So. Uh, Along the x-axis is temperature, it is our independent variable, as you see the range. And I prefer that my students don't put a title there, but input a title as the uh, figure caption instead. Right now I'm going to right click uh, on these dots, the data, and add a trend line. I'm going to make sure that I have equation and R squared values indicated there and now I can close this. Alright, this is a good relationship um, according to the R squared meaning that this relationship described by the line here um, where Y could predict X it looks like about 91.7 percent of the time. Now to see if this relationship is a relationship that is a relationship by chance, even though that the relationship seemingly is a good predictor of one variable to the other, we're going to need to do a regression analysis. Now, go to the data tab, look for your data analysis uh, function, not there. So, go to file to add that. Go to options, go to add ins here, Excel add ins, say go. Click Analysis Tool Pack, say OK, and in the upper right corner, you should see your data analysis tab appear. Thank you. Now we'll go down to Regression Analysis when the window appears, which it will do, I hope. Yes, good. There we go, Regression. And you say OK. The Y range is the sales and the x ray is your temperature which is the independent variable along the x-axis. The labels were selected. We're going to select the output range and inside the box and <coughs> now we have so we have a significance of F there. I'll expand this again so you can see what that says. Significance of F. That's essentially the p-value. So that tells us if this relationship described by the line that we have here is caused by sampling error. So the probability of the sampling error is low. It's less than 0 0.05, and so we say that the relationship is a real relationship. Notice that this is the same value here, under p-value. So in case for some reason this doesn't appear, you have this one, the second value. <clears throat> because this is this p-value, P value is less than 0, 0, 0.05, then we can say that the relationship described by the line is not due to something else. real relationship. 
and um, you can say it also predicts uh, it, one variable can predict the other with 91.7% uh, accuracy. I'd like to also show you while I'm at it a uh, chi-square test. Here's a situation. You have uh, bought a package of gumballs and they contain 75 pieces of candy of gum. The colors are represented below. Blue, orange, yellow, red, white, pink, green. Total 75. So you decide to count uh, and sort them according to color. Now you actually expected them to be evenly dis distributed. So in that case, you're expecting each to have 7, 10.7, I believe. Let me just do the calculation on the side. 75 divided by 7 colors, and we're looking at a round off of 10.7. So, <clears throat> What you do in this case is to see if your numbers are different than expected. You go into more functions here under formulas, into statistical, and you look for chi-squared test, which is here. Your actual range is here. Don't select the total. Your expected range is here. And you say OK. And this value is very small, 0 0.0001. So that's less than uh, 0 0.05. So the p value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, um, there is a low probability of sampling error causing difference between the observed and expected values. Let's try that again. I'm going to take my you know, copy these values, so I have to type them in again. And let's say you buy a second bag of candy, and you count the colors again. Let's see how this is different. Now the chi squared test. The actual range again is now different. A different distribution of colors. Your expected numbers are the same because the bag still contains 75. And here you have a value of 0.99. So here, p-value is larger than 0.05. That means is that the difference between the expected and observed. So essentially, they're the same. You're getting what you expected. That's it.